Hey everyone, how are you? Back today for another tutorial, and this one is about shoulders. And you know why we're doing this? Because you asked for it. I get a lot of questions about how do I strengthen my shoulders? How do I not get hurt on my serve? And a really important part is just regular maintenance. It really takes minutes. You can do it right before you play or right after you play, and your shoulders will thank you because you will have less pain and at the end of the day, you might even have a bigger serve. I can't guarantee that, but you will be at least be able to serve the whole time while you're in practice whenever you want. So what I have here are some bands. This is what we use. These are called TheraBands. I will put it in the link at the bottom. I have two colors. It comes in so many colors, but this is kind of a medium and this is a little bit stronger. So you can go ahead and find any band that you want. It does not have to be TheraBand, it can be any band, let's call them any bands, and you can use any band. So we're gonna work not just on our shoulder, but re what really supports our shoulder are all these muscles in the back. So you have your trapezius, you have your serratus, you have all these muscles right up here, and they're very easy to work. So that will support your shoulder, it will take the load off of your shoulder, so that's why we put a lot of work in there too. And so we're gonna start with our rotator cuffs. What you're gonna do is hold your elbow at your side, right? Easy. And what you're gonna do is just go out and then back to 90, okay? So what you don't wanna do, you don't want your elbow to come away from your side and you also want to be standing straight. You don't wanna be hunched over or anything like that. You want a nice neutral position and the movement just comes like so. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see a different view. Easy breezy. So that's an external rotation. So when you flip, you're gonna get an internal rotation. So if I turn, you're gonna be able to see it a little more. So that's an internal. So that's external, internal. And what you wanna do before practice, what you'll do is do one set of 30. Okay, so if that's too much for you, you find yourself tiring, and you'll know when it's too much because you'll start to lose your form. If you start to feel too much work happening in your trap, um, if you start to lose your form and your arm comes away, you start to like use more of your body instead of just your arm, then you know that's when you know, okay, 30 is too many, start with 10, start with whatever you can use, uh, do and keep your form. All right. So you're gonna repeat that. Don't just do your serving arm. You gotta do both, I'm sorry. You have two arms, you gotta take care of both of those arms because you want balance. You don't wanna be in balance. You don't wanna be like Popeye on one arm and then olive oil on the other, okay? It's not how it's done. That's, that's a cartoon, it's not real life. Okay, so the next one is we're gonna do rotation at 90 degrees, okay? So make sure, if, if you do not understand 90 degrees, I recommend you find on YouTube some geometry, okay? 90 degrees is gonna be just this position right here, okay? So we've got the 90 degrees, and you can always give yourself some slack to make sure that it's not too tight or too loose. I usually hold it with the other arm. You can find ones, bands with hooks too, so you can hook it anywhere you go. You can be over, hook it on the fence, hook it, just hook it wherever you go. Okay, and so now you're at 90 degrees and you're gonna do an external rotation at 90 degrees. It does not leave 90. You're not down here, you're not up here, you're not like all over the place. It stays at the 90 and you're just rotating on the axis like so. Okay, super easy. So easy. And then we go the other way. Internal, external, and voila, you've done it. Okay, so those are two easy ones. So the last one that we're gonna do for our shoulders is the diagonal. So what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna guide you through this. I have my right hand, this is my left foot and I have put the band on the outside and I'm stepping on it, okay? I take my right hand, I grab the band, like I'm grabbing something out of my pocket, and then I go to the diagonal, okay? So go ahead and grab it, like so. You're gonna see the outside of your hand and then you're just gonna open it, thumb goes up. So easy, 
okay? So diagonals are inherently a little bit tougher. So if you can work your way up to 30, you can start at 10. And this is a great one because you're going to get the rotator cuff and then you're going to get that whole chain in the back too. So this is a really great exercise. If you, can, if you only have time for one, I would say throw this one in because you're going to get all of it. Okay, so you get those diagonals. There's only one way to do this one. There's no internal, external. It's just a diagonal. And when you're doing these exercises, make sure you're staying at neutral. Hold your stomach in too. You don't want your stomach out. My stomach's usually kind of flat in the morning. It's the morning. Catch me in the afternoon. It's like, uh. So, and then we're gonna finish those diagonals. And I think we're having a good time. I feel happy. Okay, next. We are going to proceed to the next exercises. And what we're going to do here, super easy. Both hands and we're going to swim. Do you like swimming? I don't. So we're not going to get wet in the swimming. So just easy swimmers. Okay, and you'll see again how I'm staying in neutral. And just pushing it back. So we're getting that upper back. Go ahead, knock out 30 of those. You should be able to do 30. If you cannot, no shame in that. Work your way there. Now we're just gonna do some rows. I think everybody's done a row. If you haven't, welcome to the club. We've got our rows here. Staying neutral again. Really, 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 really easy. The next one we're gonna do is gonna be called a T. These are challenging, so you can start at 10. I'm getting a great warm up before I work out. And then you can go into a Y. And you notice it's called a Y, it's like the letter Y, and the T is like the letter T, and the skiers is actually an I. I called them a ski, but it's I Y T. Good combination. FYI, it's IYT. Okay, so now we've done some really good exercise. The last one we're gonna do is a serratus punch. So it goes two ways. We're gonna pull back. It's just a simple movement with your shoulders. And then we're gonna reverse the punch. We're gonna go the other way and you just punch, boom. So you're just manipulating your shoulders forward for a nice little punch. Okay, our last part of this is that the rule is whenever you push, you have to pull. So <clears throat> we pushed punches and so then we have to pull so we gotta work on our pecs because we wanna balance our pecs with what we're doing in our upper back. So we're gonna do a couple of pec exercises really easy with the band. And so first it's just gonna be kind of a pec row. And one that I really, 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 really like for serving, because you'll notice you really are gonna need strong pecs to hit bigger serves. If your pecs are not there, you're going to hurt them. And it will actually hurt. A pulled pec is no fun. And the one I like for that is a full range because you go through the range that you would possibly do want to serve and you strengthen through that range. So this is why this one's my favorite and it's helped me to not get injured on my serves. So remember, whenever you push, you got to pull. If you're strengthening your upper back, you got to strengthen the pecs. And it's just that easy. So I'm so excited that we got to do this together because you guys have asked me this for a really long time and I have not had a chance to record these videos for you. But now I have, and I expect to see lots of big sirs. I expect to, I expect to hear like reports of aces and no double faults and no shoulder pain most of all. Okay guys, I love doing this with you. Stay tuned, you know, we're back. So you know what you have to do, like subscribe and that sort of stuff so that way you can know when we're doing all this fun stuff. See you next time.